let the image of the point 1 comma 0 comma 7 in the line x upon 1 is equal to y minus 1 upon 2 is equal to z minus 3 upon 3 be the point alpha beta gamma so let us consider the point p 1 comma 0 comma 7 and its image with respect to the line x upon 1 is equal to y minus 1 upon 2 is equal to z minus 2 upon 3 be the point say q alpha beta gamma let us draw the line which is perpendicular to the line let m be the foot of the perpendicular upon the line so m is the point lying on the line and we can see the line pm is perpendicular to the given line and the direction ratios of let us consider general point on the line by taking lambda x is equal to 1 lambda and here y minus 1 is equal to 2 y minus 1 is equal to 2 lambda the y is equal to 2 lambda plus 1 and z is equal to 3 lambda plus 2 so we can we may consider the direction ratios of the line joining p and m can be taken as lambda minus 1 direction ratios of the line joining pm can be taken as lambda minus 1 or 2 lambda plus 1 minus 0 and 3 lambda plus 2 and minus 7 that is we can write 3 lambda minus 5 and direction ratios of given line direction ratios of given line can be taken as 1 comma 2 comma 3 and we know that if a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 are the direction ratios of two given lines which are perpendicular then we have the condition a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equal to 0 so here we can write which implies lambda minus 1 times of 1 lambda minus 1 times of 1 plus 2 lambda plus 1 times of 2 and 3 lambda minus 5 times of 3 is equal to 0 upon simplifying we will get lambda minus 1 plus 2 lambda plus sorry 4 lambda plus 2 plus 3 3 is a 9 lambda minus 15 is equal to 0 so we may get 9 lambda plus 4 lambda 13 plus 1 that is 14 times lambda and 2 minus 15 minus 13 minus 1 that is minus 14 is equal to 0 which implies lambda is equal to 1 so we may consider the point m that is lambda comma 2 lambda plus 1 comma 3 lambda plus 2 so which implies m is the point 1 comma 2 1 0 2 plus 1 that is 3 comma 3 1 0 3 plus 2 that is 5 so 1 comma 3 comma 5 we can consider the point m and q is the point which is the where m is the midpoint m is the midpoint of p and q so we can write 1 plus alpha upon 2 is equal to 1 beta plus 0 upon 2 is equal to the y coordinate 3 and gamma plus 7 upon 2 is equal to the z coordinate is 5 so which implies alpha is equal to 2 minus 1 that is 1 beta is equal to 6 and gamma is equal to 10 minus 7 that is 3 so we can consider the point q as 1 comma 6 comma 3 then we need to find which of the following points lies on the line passing through alpha beta gamma and making angles 2 pi by 3 and 3 pi by 4 with y axis and z axis respectively and an acute angle with x axis let us consider l comma m comma n be the direction cosines
of the line which is passing through alpha beta gamma and making angles like l is equal to let us alpha be the acute angle and m is equal to cos of and the given angle 2 pi by 3 and n is equal to cos 3 pi by 4 so we can write here m is equal to cos 2 pi by 3 value is 90 plus 120 degrees 90 plus 30 that is sine 30 minus 1 by 2 and n is equal to cos 3 pi by 4 that is 90 plus 45 so minus 1 by root 2 and we have the relation l square plus m square plus n square is equal to 1 so l square plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 so l square is equal to 1 minus half 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 minus 1 fourth is again 1 fourth and l is equal to plus or minus 1 by 2 but since it is given that it is an acute angle with respect to with x-axis so we need to consider the positive angle so l is equal to plus half So we got L is equal to half, M is equal to minus 1 by 2 and N is equal to minus 1 by root 2. So the direction ratios we may consider L is to M is to N which is equal to 1 upon 2 is to minus 1 upon 2 is to minus 1 by root 2 which can also be written as so here minus into root 2 by root 2 which is 1 is to minus 1 is to minus root 2. So these are the direction ratios and our line is passing through alpha beta gamma and we can write x minus alpha upon 1 is equal to y minus beta upon minus 1 is equal to z minus gamma upon minus root 2 which implies x minus alpha is 1 upon 1 is equal to y minus 6 upon negative 1 is equal to z minus gamma is 3 upon minus root 2 and we can just check that among the four options so option 3 will give the correct answer so here when x is equal to 3 when x is equal to 3 3 minus 1 upon 1 which is 2 and when y is equal to 4 so 4 minus 6 that is 4 minus 6 will be minus 2 minus 2 upon 1 and second minus 2 upon minus 1 that is 2 and z is equal to 3 minus 2 root 2 we can substitute 3 minus 2 root 2 minus 3 upon minus root 2 is minus 2 root 2 by root 2 is minus plus 2 so we got 2 and here also 2 and here also plus 2 so we can confirm that option c satisfies and which of the following point lies means we can say third point this third option point may lies on the line passing through alpha beta gamma and having the direction cosines